I stopped working on the acoustic coupler modem because I had uh, reason to believe that a memory issue, if you remember there were artifacts all over the screen, might have been causing a problem with the uh, uh, modem communication. If you remember earlier, it would send the letters perfectly to the server, but coming back the, the letters would be all garbled. And with no documentation, I had uh, opened it up and found two potentiometers and used the calibration guide from an old uh, Trash 80 acoustic coupler to find out what the values were. And while I measured it and tweaked it, I noticed that on the self-test, it came alive. Uh, just a demonstration of the self-test, which has to work in a very quiet environment, but if I leave it on originate and hit test, you'll hear a tone, and it'll actually hear its own tone, and it'll play back what is uh, recorded onto the screen. And I used this to, to tweak it till I got it just where I wanted it. Now if you talk, you get all sorts of errors introduced because it has to be very quiet. As you can see, we're having a problem now. And now if I stop talking, So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring it back to regular mode, full duplex, and dial up the server. And as you can see, I don't have the exact coding scheme. I have a newer version of this program which supports that. You can see 300 board on the acoustic coupler. It's working real nice. It's been calibrated. Now you can see the receive going crazy. Working over my uh, my rotary uh, switch. All the volumes are set good. You can see it's not quite compatible, but that that has to do with this version of software. But I mean, it is tweaked enough that it's actually grabbing the the special characters. I know you can't read that now since it's written in white is how it's coming up. There you go. I, well, it depends on the screen refresh. And there you have it. Like I said, a couple of uh, encoding errors. We're going to try it on the next video. We're going to try it on a new version 3.0. There we go.